treat and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on live action from the championship. It's Preston North End and they take on Huddersfield Town. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And the match is underway. And the lineup for the home side. Well, when they don't have possession, it will be a back five. But when they win the ball back, the wing backs will push further forward to make it a 3 5 2. Brown. Alan Brown with it. Beautiful pass. Makes his way in field. Well, no luck in terms of finding the target. Ben Wiles, Coroma. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Now, who can he play it to? Well, they stopped them in their tracks. This might have potential. Opportunity to deliver the cross. I have to say, a poor touch, unable to keep it in play. Goal kick. <laughs> Matos. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Jonathan Hogg. Well, good run, this. Now, what can he do with it? Might go ahead. Oh, good save. And I must say, that's very good refereeing, going back to hand out the yellow card in that fashion. And a short corner here. And he's keen on cutting in. And off target in the end. And that'll be a goal kick. Whiteman. Well, there's a really stylish piece of running. Can he find the net? And a fine stop. Well, do you sense it's just a matter of time before they do score, Derek? They've been piling on the pressure now and really should be ahead in this one. A quick thinking to win it back. And getting the ball forward. And players waiting in the centre. Takes the shot. And the keeper's hand does the trick. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Not a huge chunk of added time, one minute. Exploiting the wide area.
And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. So a throw in here. Matos. Well, a really good run, and credit is due for that good piece of defending. Hughes. And losing possession. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Well, as you can see, it's been really tight and neither side has taken enough risk going forward. Hopefully that will change soon and then we might get some entertainment. Yes, a stalemate so far. Will it continue? And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Well, no point in stopping play. Advantage with them. Matos. Rodoni. Now can they make something happen? Gives it a go! Well, that's a wild attempt, even though the angle was a bit tricky. Well, the cutback would have been the better option there, I'm sure about that. And they will make the change now. Potts and the referee sensibly allowing them to carry on advantage with them an opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation well they haven't created too much lately but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here and it is substitution time at this juncture not just from one side but from both Played over. I couldn't really direct it where he wanted. Happy birthday to Nathan Walker, celebrating his birthday today from Dad and Lucy. Diara. Really good challenge. Brown. Plenty of support here. Putting his body on the line. Jonathan Hogg. Burzorg not taken away he won the ball level pegging but can they change that and passing it well and just five minutes remaining they've lost it Well, these players must be motivated. The crowd have been great. Can they now get the winner? Good through ball. And a throw-in it's going to be. And time for the change now.
chance to cross and there's the whistle all even at the end of 90 minutes here Well, the ball rolling again here, the first period of extra time, and you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part of this now. It's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes. Ledson. Miller. Just needs to get it out of there. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. time tackle and space here on the flank and still trying to get the shot off and there it is the deadlock has been broken we wondered if a goal would arrive well now it has and will there be a response now Well, as you can see, he's a dangerous runner with the ball. He has such good balance and pace. That's a top-class goal, isn't it? So underway again here, 1-0 the score. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle, and the referee has got to book him, I think. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Oh, that's a really good run. Well, very effective goalkeeping to touch it over. Time for a change then. And he's fired over the corner and clearing his lines. Well, that's it for the first period of extra time. Let's see what the second has in store. Substitution for Preston North End. 
Well, underway again, the second period of extra time. Who's going to prevail here? You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Well, the referee not messing about. He's cautioned him. Well, it had to be a yellow card, and he knew it was coming. And the pass deftly cut out. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Can they trouble the opposition this time? That's not a bad ball. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. Ryan Ledson. Holmes. Emil Reese. Really good build up, but no end product. And the counter looks on here. Options available. And finally, up a cul de sac. Did really well to get through. Well, defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. And there goes the final whistle, and the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win.